guys welcome back to my channel and if you're new to my channel go ahead and hit the subscribe button to see more home holiday event wedding and DIY decor today I'm gonna show you how to make a pika theme wedding centerpiece and setup here we go Today I'm going to be working with peacock feathers. Aren't they beautiful? They're really, really beautiful. They're really tall too, so let me place them down here. <laughs> so nice. These were donated to me about two years ago after designing and setting up a birthday party. And I'm in love with them. They've been sitting there and they've been calling my name, Tyra, <laughs> do something with me. And today is the day. All right guys, let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is put my base together and my base is going to consist of, of two of these beautiful cups from Dollar Tree. Um, I think every time I look at these, they look like beer cups. I'm not sure because I don't drink beer, I'm a wino. <laughs> so uh, yeah, so I think these are two beer cups and I'm going to use four uh, of these tea light candle holders. These come two in a pack. So I'm going to need four of these and then I'm going to use a small round candle holder from Walmart. Okay, so, and oh, and I'm going to be using Gorilla Glue Epoxy to glue these together because these uh, bonds in five minutes. Perfect. All right, so let me give you a close up. Okay, so I'm going to turn one cup over and then I'm going to pour some of the glue. There's two tubes. So just um, press both of them and then you're going to mix it. And it smells pretty bad, it's, it smells kind of toxic. <laughs> but I'm all for the bonding in five minutes, so I'm going to use it. Now I'm going to add glue to the inside part of the candle holder. And I'm gonna place it right on top. And then I'm going to glue another, but I'm going to add the glue to the back of the candle holder. And you're going to place it right on top. Just center it as best as possible. And then for the next one, you are going to add the glue to the inside. And now I'm going to place the last one and I'm going to add glue to the back of it. Okay, so now I'm gonna let it dry for about half an hour. It says that it takes only five minutes, but I'm going to wait half an hour before I place the last piece right on top. So this feels very solid now. Now I'm going to place the last piece, which is my other cup. And I'm going to add the uh, Gorilla Glue right on top of here and here it is now I'm gonna let it sit for another half an hour and then I'm gonna get started with the arrangement before I start my arrangement I'm going to cut a bit of my floral foam I'm going to cut it a little bit right here so I'm able to glue it flat to this round candle holder and then I'm going to work in the front and then in the back. And I want them to descend, so the taller ones are going to be in the middle and then I'm gonna go down uh, and descend uh, with the length of the feather. Feathers. Here's to the first one. So here 
here is this side this is the right side and everything is going towards the right uh, and is tall and they descend to the bottom and now I'm going to make the ones going to the left and then you're gonna to have to find feathers that are pointing towards the left I'm gonna place one that's standing straight up right here now I'm going towards the left pretty already all right so now I'm going to I don't know if you can see me <laughs> now I'm going to start with the front and I'm going to uh, descend or ascend same thing uh, but I think I'm going to yeah start from top to bottom this way and then this way okay if that makes any sense all right I'm just going to show you The third layer is done, so now what I'm going to do is work on hiding the floor foam. So I have a few smaller feathers here and I'm going to place them on here. Okay, so here's the good part. Now I'm gonna have to do something here so I can cover the floor foam, which is not bad if you can see it because it kind of blends in. So that's why it's better if you get it in the color green instead of the white. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and cover that up. I cut the top of a feather so I only have this little part here and it's difficult to push it in because this is very bendy since it's not the bottom of the feather this part is very hard so what you're going to do is dig a hole with one of these right here on the side and then you are going to place that in there and then you're going to have to bend it and then you're going to add some hot glue to make it um, stand there this is still a little too big okay so place it in that hole which I lost where are you there it is and then just push it back with the glue you're just gonna have to hold for a sec and there you go and I'm gonna place another one right here on this side I'm gonna do one more right here Now you're gonna have to trim these right here on the front. And I cut this very little piece here. Well, this part is big, but it doesn't have any of the feathers here. It's just basically the head of it. And I'm going to glue it onto here, right here in the middle. I'm gonna add one more feather right here to this spot. So if you have any ball spots, just go ahead and just add feathers to it. And I'm gonna add one more right here and I think that's gonna be it for this side. And here's what we have so far. This is the front of my centerpiece, or it could be the back, it depends which one looks better. But this is my one side that I'm already done with. Now I'm going to work on the back. And in the back, all you have to do is start from the second layer, third, fourth, and then the bottom no need to do another layer of the top so again you're only going to do the second third fourth and bottom i'll be right back okay guys so here is my finished top here is my peacock this one is the back or this side is the back and this is how it looks and it is amazing i love it now i'm going to glue it to the top of my face so all I'm going to do is just add a little bit of, just make sure that it's clean, 
a little bit of hot glue not really necessary you don't really have to glue this on a lot of florists they actually leave it off um, because uh, they just do they'll just have a separate top and then the vase so I guess it's easy to change that way um, ouch but um, but I'm going to secure it and this one is really light the feathers are really light <laughs> so it doesn't weigh too much but i'm just gonna glue it right on top just like that just make sure that it's center i'm not sure if you can see it and i'm also going to add oh my gosh i should have added the lighting before i put it right on top but i'm going to add lighting inside here right in between the feathers i'm going to add some lighting um and these i got from dollar tree but these are not the best quality they don't seem to stay on like when i want them to and these are brand new i just got them out the packet and they just don't okay this one is working with me okay so i'm going to place one here and one here so in three corners one in the middle and the other two on the side of it and i'm going to show you how it looks with the lights off as of right now i'm going to leave the base clear but if you see it in the setup in a different color that means that i changed my mind obviously uh because i don't know until it's on the setup if i want to make changes or not uh, but right now i'm pleased with the clear and i think i'm going to leave it as is we'll see i hope you guys enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up if you like this video and make sure to subscribe if you haven't subscribed also let me know what you thought of the peacock feathers. I love them. I hope you love them too. Let me know in the comments below and I will see you guys next time. Bye.